Hi Year 5, I'm going to be delivering your next PSHE lesson, so we're going to share the screen and we'll go through it together. Today's learning intention is to recognise misinformation and misleading images online. Spot the difference, you can see two images on the screen, what are the differences between the two images? Pause the screen so you have time to think about it. As you can probably tell, the one on the right is, has been edited, whereas the one on the left looks a bit more natural. The one on the right looks like her eyes, her eyebrows, her nose, her mouth, pretty much the whole picture has been edited. Did you spot those differences as well? Great work if you did. Let's move on. Why do you think these images have been altered or edited? Who is the audience? And what is the purpose of the alterations or the edits? Now pause the screen so you can think about your answers to these questions. You may want to write your answers down or you can just verbalize them out loud. The person in the image on the right has a very small waist. Some people may naturally have a waist this small. However, not all do. Now, the two images in front of you are of the same lady. However, the one on the left is real and the one on the right is fake. Is it dangerous to promote this fake image for some people? Again, pause the video if you need your time to think about it. Is it dangerous to promote this image for some people? It might be dangerous because it's not real and it might be unachievable to be this slim for some people. However, the one on the left is real. She looks happy. She still looks really, really good in her lovely dress. Not only does excessive use of Photoshop on photos send out a poor message, but it also can cause low self-esteem and body image issues. So like I said before, for some people looking at a fake edited picture, it may cause body image issues because people might think that that's an achievable look when really for most people it's unachievable and unhealthy to look that way. It can also cause low self-esteem because you might think that you want to look like that but can't and you try your hardest to, to look like that and it makes you feel a bit down, a bit low, which is why it can call, cause low self-esteem. These types of photos lead us to believe that beauty can only exist in an unachievable body type, that it's even remotely healthy to look like the models in the photos we see. So for some people that spot these pictures, these edited pictures, like this one here, they may think it's an achievable look, but actually it's unhealthy. And this is what that statement is saying. Again, pause the video if you wanna think about this a bit more. For your activity, I'd like you to create a poster given tips on how to spot when an image has been edited and the dangers that can be created from this. So I've already given you two examples of dangers that can be created from edited pictures, such as low self-esteem and body image issues. However, if you'd like to research this a little bit more, then you can. Make your poster colourful, make it stand out and make sure it sends out a good positive message because we want everyone to feel happy and healthy. We want everyone to feel like their body type is just right. Enjoy your activity and feel free to look, go back over the video if you need some extra help. But I will see you next week for the next PSHE lesson. Take care. I hope you're enjoying your remote learning so far and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye year five. Have a great day.